In this tutorial, you will learn how to configure the junk email options. Let's start by clicking on the Actions menu. Move your mouse over Junk Email, the submenu appears, and click on Junk Email Options. There are, sev there are several junk email options to be configured, and Outlook has broken down the options into various tabs. Let's start on the Options tab. On this tab, you can specify the level of protection that you want. Typically, you want to select either low or high. If you're getting a lot of spam, then you may want to try clicking on high. The other options here allow you to specify whether you want email to be moved directly into your junk email folder or deleted. Typically, what you want to do is you want to leave this unchecked. So that way, any email that may be classified as spam is moved into your junk email folder so you can review it later. There's also another option here and you want to leave that on and what it does is it turns off links in in uh, suspicious email. The next tab is the safe senders tab. On this tab what you can do is you can specify any email address that you want the spam filter to classify as being safe email. So any email that comes from these addresses would go directly into your inbox instead of being filtered into your junk email box and you can just click on add and you can start typing either a specific email address or you can just type at and then the domain name for example at calendars.com in that case anything from calendars.com any user from that address would be considered to be safe and you also want to check the additional options at the bottom of this of this tab and what they do is they allow you to trust any email that's coming from anybody who's already in your contacts list. And there's a second option here, and you want to select that as well. And what happens there is any email that you send to anybody, they are then considered to be a safe sender. The next tab, Safe Recipients, what that tab does is allows you to add your own email addresses or or email addresses that appear in the to field. Basically what happens there is if you have multiple email addresses then you may want to allow one of your email accounts to to automatically go directly into your inbox without being filtered. In that case you could add that email address there. The next tab, Block Senders, what it does is it allows you to specify any domains, domain uh, email addresses or addresses that you want to, to be automatically considered as junk, in which case you can click on add and you can start typing either a specific address or the domain name uh, after the at sign. The next tab, the international tab, it allows you to specify filtering based on the email address and specifically the last part of the email address. If you click on blocked top level domain list, what this does is it allows you to specify all the addresses that you want to block based on the last part of the domain name. For example, email coming from China would have a domain name that ends in .ch. If you do not expect to receive any email from international, international email addresses, you might as well just block the international email addresses and so you start that by clicking on select all and all of the domain name endings are now selected uh, in the case of in the case where you might be receiving email from somebody in an international country for example France you might want to uh, clear that setting so let's go down to France which is FR and let's turn that one off and then let's click OK once we're done there's also a second one blocked encodings list and what that does is it specifies what filtering you want to do based on the, the encoding format of the emails for example emails that are encoded in Chinese you would have those filtered by selecting the 
Chinese simplified and Chinese traditional. And once you've done the configuration, you can just click OK, and that's it.